we have Anna. We're gonna do some natural looking makeup on her and a few different hairstyles, I think. Correct. So I have prepped her face with a primer. We are gonna do some airbrush makeup, um, but before that, I'm gonna do some subtle eyes for a nice day look. So I'm gonna start with some eye primer, and then Jen, go for it. Tell us what you're gonna do with her hair first. Well, Anna has this lovely curly texture, so I'm just gonna play off that, and I'm gonna go through some easy styles that you guys can do at home. Lovely. Close your eyes for me, dear. I'll take my iron. Just grab some more of the straighter pieces that she has. And wrap it around. Now, why iron. do you wrap it rather than curl it? It gives it actually a different, a, almost a looser texture as opposed to like clamping it in there tight. More of a natural More curl. More of a natural curl. More like a, a wand. So just applying a little bit of primer to the lids. This ensures that the shadow stays put where we put it. And it will last then all day. That, that's the one that I did exterior <coughs> of the wand. That's the one I did inside. So I'm going to start with this sort of a terracotta kind of color. Sort of a medium bronze. What Just color schemes do you naturally go with for daytime looks? Definitely more browns and depending on the skin tone something that complements um, if they have warmer skin as Anna does I definitely want to stick with more warmer browns something that has a little bit of an orange in the background possibly like this really pretty terracotta that I'm putting over the, the full lid at the moment. So now the difference between the curling iron and the flat iron. More smoother, um, more looser. More of a beach wave than more a curl. More of a beach wave, yes, than a curl. So just making this even terracotta color, we're gonna come back with just a little bit of a shimmer in the same family. I'm using more of a pointy brush. And I'm just gonna add a teensy bit of shimmer towards the inner corner along the lash line, just for a little pop. So I spread it up just a little more towards the crease, starting at the lash line, just that inner corner. Use a little bit of a deeper, sort of plummy terracotta. This is just for the corner, of the outer corner. I'm just starting at the lash line and coming out. It's just adding depth to the corners? Yeah, just a bit of depth to the corners. Coming up on an upward motion obviously draws your eyes up. Going through section by section, curling, um, kind of just getting texture. You don't want to go through the whole thing and make it such uniform like. So I'm going to spray her now that I got some texture in there. a light cream color and just come underneath her brows. This highlights the brow bone and again draws the eyes up. What type of braid are you doing up there? I am doing a Dutch braid which is also known as the outside. So typically a braid would go over each other. I am bringing it under each other. So it sits more on top of that. Correct, it sticks out. I'm all about the texture. She has such pretty texture naturally. I'm just going to Lay off that. I'm going to add a whisper of brown pencil just to the corner top. I like the whispering. The whisper. It's just a whisper. You don't really want to make like a line line. Just a teens. Just so the lash line it gives a little bit more depth. Look up and away that way. Adding just a whisper to the bottom. Just in this corner. So I'm just going to braid this all the way there to the bottom. Goes. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of roll it up on top. So now that her eyes are done, we're just going for that natural daytime look. We just added a little bit of depth to them, a little bit of liner in the corners. I'm now going to come back and do her base. So we are using an airbrush base today. I did put a primer to prep her before the eyes went on. So now we're going to go ahead and do the base. I pre-mixed Anna's foundation for the perfect pigment to match her skin. And then I'm going to just start applying this. 
with really light up and down strokes. And what are the benefits of airbrush over a regular or liquid foundation? Airbrush foundation um, doesn't move when it's wet. So if you were going to an event where there'll be dancing, such as a wedding or a prom, um, you would want to choose airbrush because it will not bleed or start coming off while you're dancing or if you get stuck in the rain or somebody spills a drink on you. <laughs> also, if you have skin that does tend to blemish out a little, this airbrushing covers everything flawlessly. And it's a silicone base, it so is, it doesn't yes. absorb into right. the pores. It doesn't come off unless you wash with soap and water or cleanser and water, so that's really nice. Look at that one cute little easy, fast, top knot. little top knot. So that's just something to do, straight or wavy just hair, do, natural exactly. texture, you can curl it, we'll curl just it, add a nice it, little braid to the top. So what's, what are we doing next? We are going to throw it up into a sock. So we're doing top knot. We are doing Full super top easy, yes. up out of the way all day. Do you have any recommendations should, of using any type of product or anything for the longevity, the curls, or the, the volume, if their hair is really fine? I always like a good old hairspray. Um, I also like um, creams and pomades. If you have little flyaways, I put it on my comb very lightly and I just brush that all in. And I'm trying to just stay with her, her natural flow. I don't want to smooth anything out. I even want to pull some out just to make it not so smooth. It's just adding some volume. Just adding some so volume, some texture. To exactly. So what are you and using, Jen, to make the bun? Literally a sock that I have cut off at the heel. Use the top of the sock where it's most stretchiest down at the base. It is brand new. Pull it out. So just put it at the base. Put it at the base. Pull, Pull it, it out. out. So I'm just adding some eyebrows. Um, I went through and dusted them off a bit with my spoolie on the end of this brow pencil. And I've started in the arch. And I'm just drawing this back out and down just to create a nice solid line. She does have a little bit of a weaker ended brow, so we're just trying to give a little bit more distinction to that brow. So I've taken the sack, I have almost like an umbrella over the ends, and then I've grabbed it, and then kind of evenly made sure that the sack is covered in so many ways, because that's going to determine your rolling down, where everything is going to go. And we're just going to roll it down. Sock buttons are so fun. Kind of so turning easy. it inside out as you go. And I'm okay with the mess, because that can all get kind of tucked in there. Oh, there's more of a natural. More of a. Top knot flow. Exactly. Now, do you anchor it? I do. I'm going to be using some bobby pins and hair pins. And I kind of grab it and shove it underneath. I like using pins at first because they're open. You can almost use them as a teeny tiny little detailing comb. As Cynthia, you're there. using a pencil. There are many alternatives, obviously. Many alternatives. And do you feel pencil's the softest? softest. Um, I think it, it really depends on, on who you are and what's easiest for you to use. These are, this particular one is an Anastasia pencil and it comes with a little spoolie on the back and so it is a very easy, it's a very soft um, pencil. It's nothing that's too difficult to wield. Um, I feel like these are probably most practical because they do come built in with that spoolie. Some powders, um, depending on who you are, are going to be easier um, or not. Sometimes right. practice makes perfect with brows and since there are so many different types of products out there that you'd find the one that's best for you. Okay. So I've just gone through and secured the bobby pins or the hair pins with bobby pins. Go for it. We're going to give her a spin. See? Fun. Easy, fun. Super cute. But sturdy. But sturdy. Yeah. That's not going to go anywhere. So once our brows are filled in. So I'm actually going to pop this out and show you one more for... little trick. Do a little bit of color in the cheeks. And I didn't fill the brows in crazy. We just want a more of a soft, natural look. I also forgot to mention, while you 
have this up. If you want to go from day to night, just throw a nice little jazzy hairpin in there underneath on the side. A little brooch of some sort. Yes. Or detail. Or at a rhinestone headband. Yeah. So again, I've gone for just sort of a peachy, a peachy blush. It's a little bit more in the orange family rather than pink, just because we've been working on with warmer shades for Dear Anna today. And now, Cynthia, you can also take this makeup look into an evening look. Absolutely. And Maybe just, by... I would intensify the liner. I would probably make your brows a little stronger. Add a lip. And add Some a little lip. bit of like a, a deeper, deeper lip. lip. Mm -hmm. Some lashes maybe. Sure. Just a couple touches here or there. So I'm gonna hit her with some dry shampoo up in the crown. To get her dry some. shampoo. Yes. Dry shampoos are life. It's a great styling tool also. It is. It's not just for like the third or fourth day. Right, I feel if there's a, somebody like with super fine hair with a lot of flyaways and that baby hair, like it's a good alternative to hairspray to give yeah. it some texture and some volume. For sure. So I'm just adding a little bit of a deeper color to the hollow of her cheekbones just to accentuate the front a little bit. It just brings a little bit more depth to the face. I'm going to lock back here down the body pin so it doesn't slip up on me. So I'm just taking my peachy shade. After I do my contour, just that little depth in the hollow, and I'm just blending that out a little. I blended it with my brush a bit, but I just like to add a little bit more color for popping. Highlighting is one of my favorite parts. It adds a little bit of shimmer, sometimes a sparkle, depending on the highlighter that you use. I'm using a very soft, light, again, sort of in the peachy family. I'm gonna start dusting here at her upper cheekbone. And a highlighter I like to work in a, in a number three. I like to hit this bottom jawline, anywhere that natural light would catch. Just going through, and as I'm going around, I'm grabbing the previous piece that has been wrapped around. So now we're gonna do some mascara for our lashes. So I'm just taking this mascara, I like to start by rolling my wand actually. It's here. So we're coming in with just a little bit of a neutral, neutral brown. Nothing that's too intense, but just gives a little bit of color just for popping. And that daytime makeup look is complete. Looks great. And sure off with some spray. Gorgeous. Looks good.